Hi guys, NorCal Car here. Today we're tying some flies. Today I'm tying kind of a caddis style killer kabari. So I'm gonna get a size 12 nymph hook, my favorite. Get that in the vise. Make sure it's kind of on center a little bit. Good enough. And we're gonna use some uh, dark brown. I'm using a 140 denier thread. Get that started. For this one, we're going to get about to the hook point, and I'm going to tie in some Jameson Shetland spin drift. Today, I'm using some Bracken. It's kind of a dark green color with some black and some other shades of green running through it. I really like this color. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I ran out and then Jonathan Atunez uh, at Trout Conjurer sent me some more. He's a great dude. If you're in Colorado and looking to do some 10 car fishing, hit him up. Probably tie off so it doesn't get crazy. Probably just one little half inch knot. And then put your put your bobbin in the rest. And uh, um, if you watched my killer bug video, this is kind of the same way. We're gonna twist up the yarn as tight as we can. Help it around the eye of the hook. Keep it nice and tight, tightly twisted. Give yourself a eye length and a half, maybe two eye lengths to work with. Get that out of the way. Just secure the yarn in with the thread now. Once you've got it locked in, you can go ahead and cut off the rest. I used a very generous piece here. Now if you like, you can give it a collar. I'm not going to on this one. I'm just going to use a feather off of a Whitting Farm 4B hen. And I'm going to tie it in like a normal wet fly or a junk bari. Some nice tight wraps to make sure it's in there. Snip off the excess. I'll use hackle pliers for this one. Just got these new hackle pliers. They're a uh, loon. I like them actually. They're a little heavier than my old pair, but they're very comfortable to use. in that thread. Cut off the stem. Put a little head on there. 
You can use some UV resin if you like. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm probably just going to use a whip finish on this one. I think that looks good. Six turns. If you want, you can <clears throat> do a second whip finish on there. Sometimes I do. Maybe just do like four more. That should hold. And there you have a killer Caddis Kabari. Thanks, guys. Um, tie them up in whatever color you like, whatever color Shetland Spindrift you got, or any other kind of yarn, really. Uh, tag me in any, any pictures, posts. Get out and fish. Thanks, everybody.